everyone. Good morning. Welcome to today's live class. This is Improving Your Strength and Stability. My name is Rebecca Zostek. I am a health coach, personal trainer, and group exercise instructor here at our beautiful Hogue Health Center in Foothill Ranch with our lifestyle program. And so hopefully one day you can all come down and please stop by, see our beautiful facility, and say hello. Come see us. We'd appreciate that. Uh, also, we really appreciate you being a subscriber here, so thank you so much for checking out um, our videos and participating with me in these classes. Uh, we also have quite a few other lectures and demonstrations and classes for you to take a look at on our YouTube channel. So please do subscribe so you can see all of those great, um, all of that great content, I should say. All right, thank you so much again. Let's see who I have this morning. Uh, okay, I have a couple of you. Thank you for being here. Uh, so today's class, I'm not gonna play any music. We're concentrating on uh, our balance a lot in this class. So we wanna make sure we're really focusing in on, um, on that dynamic with this class. Also today, I am using free weights. So if you have some dumbbells, uh, go ahead and grab those guys. Um, nothing really heavy, just something to just put a little bit of load on those muscles as we work on uh, strength exercises. And of course, I use a chair to help me keep my table and practicing along with balance drills. So you also, please be sure you have something that you can hold onto nearby, kitchen counter, uh, a railing, the chair, the back of the sofa, whatever it is, you want to be near that so that you can hold on and practice your posture, practice through the exercises, okay, so you have that support. Uh, all right, so let's get warmed up. Okay, we'll set this off to the side. We'll get busy with that in just a moment. Let's take the legs nice and wide and practice posture first of all. So we want to make sure that the shoulders, okay, are first relaxed and they are active. They're pulling back, so it's kind of funny. Well, they're relaxed, but they're active. Yes, so, and well, what I mean by that really is so, <laughs> I know it sounds funny. Um, if we didn't have relaxed shoulders, they'd be tense, okay? And yes, they are still active, but we want them to relax and active while they're pulling back so that you keep your chest lifted. There we go, okay, we have it. Hands on the waist, and all we're gonna do is a toe tap from side to side, so you're shifting your weight and tapping your toes from side to side. Now, if you have some music that you want to play in your home, go ahead and do that. Uh, you can pause me now and then catch up later. So keep this going from side to side, concentrating on posture, pulling those shoulders back. Abs are engaged, so that means you're just pulling them in constantly. Okay, and now we're going to tap in. So step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. Just moving from side to side. Practicing our lateral movement right here, side to side. Okay, easy, easy, no problem. And four more. Three, two, one, and hold it wide. Take a nice deep breath up. We'll go back to that, add a little bit more, a little bit more challenge to it. One more time, inhale up, and exhale down. So shoulder rolls back, big shoulder rolls. There you go, and reverse. Bringing the shoulders forward, nice big circles, and rest. Let's take the left arm up for a stretch and bring it back. Do that side again, and up it goes. And one more time. Ah, feels nice. And now the other side. So here we go. Right arm up and down. Ah, breathe into it. And last time. Good job. Let's bring the legs a little bit closer together. Clasp your hands in front. Pull your arms away so you can feel that stretch in your upper back right there. Good. And release. Clasp the hands behind you. Let them rest on your lower back. And just pull the shoulders gently back, shining that chest forward. Ah, deep breaths. And relax. Let's come back to center. Legs wide again. And going back to that step tap. So here we go. And step tap. Now what I'm going to add here is a knee lift from side to side. And we're going to hold the knee lift for a couple of counts. So making sure that you have um, a safe space to work. And if you feel that you'd rather not lift the knee, you don't have to for right now. Um, as we do not have that support in front of us, right? Okay, so get ready. Four, three, two, 
one and step knee up, step knee up. Just like that. Okay. Keep that going. And four, three, two, and one. Legs go wide. Nice job, everyone. Let's turn the toes out. And we're going to go in for a little ditty squat here. So don't go too far into this. As you squat, you want to push the knees back and keep your chest lifted. So a lot of times I'll see this. Right, the knees are torquing in, the chest is dropping down. So keep the chest up and push the knees back. So we go down and up. We're working on strengthening those thighs. Okay, major stabilizers here. And four more. And three. And two. Now stay down for me. One, stay right here. And all you're going to do is lift the heels from side to side. Let's go, let's go. Lift and lift, lift and lift, and four, and three. Good job in two and one. Now stay down right here, stay down. Come down a little bit deeper, and let's do that again with the heels. And eight, and seven, and six, five. You got it, four more. Three, two, one. Stay right there, stay right there, and now come up. Okay, so everyone should have felt that in the quads. Yes? Okay. Let's work on our calf raises. So we do this every class. Um, a lot of these exercises I do every class. They're important. They're our, they are our main exercises for developing um, stability, okay? So holding on just lightly to the back of your chair or whatever you're using, we're gonna come up onto the tippy toes, hold it right there. Let's see if we can lift the hands off the chair and coming right back down. So it's up, release and lower and up release and lower good job keep that going and one more and down and now we're just going to go up and down for eight ready let's go eight seven so hold on or not hold on it's up to you good and four more here's four and three two stay up for me right here stay up hold on to that chair if you need to just take the arms out to the side one at a time or keep one hand on the chair if you need to. Oh, and hold it. Four, three, two, and one. And release. Shake out those legs. Shake out those legs. All right. Now we're going to do the calf raise in tandem position. So what that means is your feet are lined up heel toe, heel toe. You're on that tight wire, okay? Again, any time that you feel you want to let go of the chair or hold on, it's up to you. This is your workout as far as, you know, what you need to do to be safe. All right, here we go. Up on the toes and lower. Up on the toes and lower. Really focus on those inner thighs. You're squeezing them in constantly. Okay, four. There you go. And five. And six. Two more here. We're going to hold it up. Seven, and now hold it right here for me. Hold it, hold it. Squeeze those inner thighs, chest lifted in four, three, two, and one. And release, nice work. Let's change the feet position. You're in that um, foot or heel to toe position, okay? Again, if you need a little bit more support, remember you can open up the legs. I say this in every class, but if you're here for the first time, Okay, you want to separate those legs a little bit to give you a little more stability. Okay, otherwise here we are, and we're coming up and down on the toes, and there's one. And two, squeezing those hips, squeezing those thighs. Three, straight up everybody, four, there you go, five, whoa, <laughs> six, seven, one more, and eight, and down you go. Did you feel that one side was a little bit more stable than the other side? That tends to happen, yes, okay. Now, going back to um, this tandem position, what we're gonna do here are some knee lifts. This is a little bit more challenging, so please do make sure that you have something to hold on to nearby if you need it. The front leg, okay, in this position is gonna come up to a knee lift. Then you're gonna bring this foot back behind you for a tap comes back up to the knee, and then you set it down, all right? So let's try eight, let's try eight. 
Why not 10? Because we don't have time. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Up and back and up and down. Doesn't have to be pretty or anything like that, just working on balance, okay? Here's three, and back, and up, and down. Here's four, okay? Oh, good job, here we go, five. It's slow, we're practicing that balance. And six, good, stay with me, seven, Watch out on this one, it's tricky. Eight, and hold that knee up right here. Hold it up, hold it up. Arms going up, and hold it. Four, three, two, one, and coming down. Excellent work, I know you did a great, great, great job on that. So let's go now to the other side, okay? Alrighty, so here we go. One foot in front of the other, it should be the opposite now. Uh, on that side, we had the left foot in front, now you have the right foot in front, yes? Okay, <clears throat> alrighty, here we go. So, standing tall, belly's tight, shoulders are back, and we go up to the back, and up to the front, and two. Okay, good, stay focused, three. Try to do it without holding on, and four. Five. And six. Good, good. Almost there. Up and back. Now watch out. Lift up and back and hold it up right here. Hold it up. Good. Arms coming up and hold it. Four. Ooh, three, two, one. And coming down. Ooh, shake out those legs. Okay, good job everyone. Let's see, do we have uh, some more on with us today? Good morning everyone, thank you for being here. Uh, we're gonna work on the hips now. Okay, so your hips, how many of us really you know, think about those hips being major stabilizers? Yes, everybody does, right? These hips, they play such a huge part of our stability. So we wanna make sure that we work on them and keep them very strong, okay? So we're going to do our side leg lift. We're going to add motion to it as we go. So standing tall, holding on to your support. Take your right foot in front. Bend your left leg a little bit because you don't want it locked up. It's bent a little bit, chest is lifted. Here you're going to get lift, I can't talk. You're going to lift the leg to the side, straight out to the side, okay? Straight out to the side. It doesn't have to be high and please try not to lean into the chair. Okay, we don't want this. So let's fix it, tall body, push the leg away. As if you're standing in a pool, right? You're holding on to the edge of the pool and you're pushing your leg against the water. How awesome would that be if we had that right now, yes? And push, and push. Good work. Now, we're going to bend this working leg and the knee is going to aim straight out to the side and the foot goes back. Push back, okay, push back. Can you see that okay if I kind of turn to the side? Okay, give me four more, here we go. Four, can you let go? Three, uh-oh, two, hold it up, one, hold it. Oh my, four more, three, two, and one, and coming down. Woo, march it out to like, you know, let those hips get actively recovered. And now I'm gonna turn to the other side, okay. We'll get to those weights in just a second. Let's work on the hip on the other side. So again, just to preview that routine, we lifted the leg to the side with a nice long straight leg, okay? Trying not to lean into your support. And then when we bend the leg, the foot is going behind us. The knee is going straight out to the side. Okay, here we go. And one, push away. Two, and three. These are exercises that will help improve our stability. So this is what we want to do, okay? And you can do these every day if you want to, really. Okay, push away. Good job. All right, now let's bend the leg and push the knee out to the side as the foot goes behind us, kind of diagonally. Okay, good, push. Can you let go? Uh-oh, maybe, maybe not, it's okay. 
breathe. Give me three more here. Let's go. Three, and two, and one. And relax, march that out. Ooh, we really felt that. Okay, we have one more exercise for the hips. We're gonna do some circles. All right, so uh, let's go to the other side. Of course, you don't have to keep moving your chair. I hope you're not doing that. Um, I am, of course, so that you can see me from the side. Okay, what I'd like you to do is you're standing tall, supporting leg is bent, bring the knee up, okay? Push the leg out to the side and bring it back, okay? And then let's go down, all right? So we have a little bit of rest time. <sighs> and then we'll add the circles, here we go. So it's up to the side, back and down. Good, and here we go, two, push back. Working on those hips right here, let's go, let's three. Good, good, abs are tight. Four, ooh, hold on when you need to. Okay, we're practicing, we got it. Good, let's do two more. Here's one. Good job everyone, here's two. Now you're gonna stay up right here, push the leg down and circle it back for five, four, three, two, one. And now reverse it, push back one, two, three, four, and five, and bring it down. A little baby squat here, they're just gonna ooh, stretch it out a little bit, okay? Good work. Let's go to the other side. How's everybody doing? By the way, if you have any questions on these exercises, or if you'd like to see me do something else, or additionally, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, in the comments, not the live chat, because the live chat won't stay up there for long, and then I don't see what you said. So in the comments below, let me know, okay? Here we go with the knee lift and the push back and back and down. Here we go, it's up. Push back. Yes, we've got this. Three, push, okay, four. Really anchoring down that right leg. Anchor it down in cement, so to speak. Good, good, and lift, push back. There you go, and up, push back, and I think this is eight, so let's hold it out to the side. Extend the leg long, and here we go. Draw a circle for five, four, three, two, and one, and reverse it, and five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it in. Ooh, bend those legs, shake it out, shake it out. Let's rest the legs now for a little bit and grab our weights. Um, if you don't have your weights with you right now, you can pause me and go grab them, or you can just use um, your own body, you know, uh, weight to kind of pull through those exercises. The exercises that I really want to focus on today with the weights is chest and back. Okay, so um, if you're new to the channel or you haven't done this class before, I'm just gonna um, talk this through. As we age, right, we start to lose muscle. That's atrophy, so the muscles become more and more and more weakened as we age. Super important to have some sort of strength training routine as often as you'd like. I mean, you can do something every day if you want, um, as long as it's not like an hour type of workout, but you know, you can do a little something every day with weights. Now, when you start to do that for upper body, you're gaining muscle fiber density, okay? You're not building mass like a bodybuilder, but you're getting muscle density. So thereby, those muscles can then support those bones, right? And give them that strength they need to help you have that posture, opening up the chest and making sure that the shoulders are always pulling back. If we don't, then we're gonna continuously have our posture being sacrificed here, the shoulders rolling back, everything gets weaker, more at risk for falling. We don't want that. So, buy some weights, let's get some weights, okay? You don't have to buy weights. You can use water bottles, you can use soup cans, you can use a laundry detergent jug and you know do some rows, all right? So a lot of different things. Now, let's work on chest. Let's go back into the tandem position. This is tandem position, okay? One foot in front of the other, right here. Okay, your chest is lifted. So you're on that tight wire. If this is too challenging, separate the legs, 
Okay, so wherever you need to be. We're going to bring the arms up into parallel, I'm sorry, um, right angles, okay? So if I turn back this way, you can see my right angles right here. Squeeze your thighs together. Close the arms and open. Keep your elbows up. <sighs> Breathe. And three. And four. We've got it. Five. Six. We're going four more on this. Yes, we need ten repetitions. Yes? Okay. Two more, everyone. Here we go. Two and one. Good. Arms come down. Let's change the legs now, okay? So front foot comes in back. Right there. And now, watch me here. I'm going to come forward into a forward bend. Alright? Right here. Forward bend. My arms are out in front. Squeezing my thighs together, I'm going to push the arms back. So I'm getting, you know, right around the shoulder blade area. I'm getting some shoulder work here also. If this is too much with weights, you can do the exercise without the weights and just pushing your arms back, okay? All right, let's give it a try. In that position, upper body comes down, weights in front, and we push back. Let me turn to the side. Push back. Three. You don't have to go too low. Four. Try not to do a shoulder shrug. Okay, so we don't want it to look like this. Right? No. Nice and long. Push back. And ten. Coming up. Let's do those two over again. Okay, so left foot in front. <sighs> Bringing the arms up. And here we go. Close and open. One. Working on chest strength right here. Shoulder strength. Okay, we want those chest muscles to be strong to help support the shoulder girdle. And when I get tucking, I lose track. What number are we on, everybody? <laughs> what number? Okay, well, let's do two more. Okay, here's one and two. Arms come down. Let's change the leg position. So now the other one's in front. And coming down, make sure your legs are straight. Arms are straight. And here you go. Push back. One. Now, yes, you can do this exercise standing tall if you would rather. Okay, you can certainly do it that way. I'm getting a little more range of motion, okay, if I come down a little bit more. And it also challenges my balance a little bit more. Okay, so wherever you are, it's all good. And rest. Okay, Ooh, shake out those arms. Now, this next exercise, we only need one weight. So we're going to put that weight down and we're going to do a uh, combination exercise. Okay, so you have the weight in your left arm and um, I want to first say that this exercise, we don't have the support. So if you're feeling a little bit nervous about it, you can skip it or I can try to show you a modification, but I'm going to go through it first. What we're going to do is a single shoulder press or you know what, you can just do the arm work, that's fine. Single shoulder press to a knee lift. Okay, so it looks like this. Knee lift and down, all right? If you don't want to do this knee lift, you can just do the arm. All right, let's try, let's try 10. Ready? Here we go. One, and down. Two, and three. Secure that position, four. Okay, right here, stop and go. There you go. Nice. And rest. Let's try the other side. Hopefully that was 10. And let's go. Ooh, we have a lot of people watching right now out there. <laughs> okay, that's good. Here we go. Other side. Ready, set, let's go. Push one. And two. Three. It's nice to see people back here at the health center. It's, it's looking busy. That's nice. And six. I mean, you know, nice to see people. <laughs> Good. And one more. And rest. Yes, I kind of like mm, misspoke a little bit. I don't mean it to mean that, you know, there's a lot of people here that needing medical care. It's more about just seeing people. Let me get the light. We're going to repeat this one more time. It was getting dark in here. Okay. Everybody still with me? How are we doing out there? Good job, everyone. Thank you so much. All right, let's go back to this exercise one more time, okay? Ready, let's go and push. One, two, 
Let's go. You got it. Three. Strong body. Four. Five. Secure that position. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. And let's hold it up right here. Hold it up. Ten. Hold it. Four. Three. Two. One. I threw that one out at you. Out at you at the last second. Good job, everyone. All right. Last time. Get ready. Other side. And here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Exhale. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. And ten. And rest. All right. Go ahead and set that weight down for a second. We're going to clasp the hands behind us. Let them sit on your lower back. And then gently pulling the shoulders back. Just a nice gentle stretch right here. By the way, if any of you out there take Friday's boot camp class, I will not be here on Friday to teach class. I'm so sorry, because I will be at the Tustin Hogue Health Center for the flu shot fair. So if you'd like to come down there and take a look around and get your flu shot, you know, and say hello, that would be great. We'll, we'll be there. Okay, our next exercise, we're almost done. We want to go back to a little bit of chest work and the shoulders, okay? So this exercise, what you're going to do is your palms are facing forward. And you're going to lift both arms out in front of you, frontal raise. So you're getting a little bit of chest and you're getting front shoulders. At the same time you do that, we're going to do a little leg raise and then come down, okay? We only have time for about five of those, so let's try five. Getting ready with your right leg, arms down nice and strong, and now they lift up one. And down. And two. Okay, good job. Here's three. Ah, breathe. Four. Five. And rest. Okay? Again, you can certainly do this exercise without the weights if you don't have them or you'd rather not use them. It's totally fine. Ready? Let's go other side, other leg. And five. Four. Three. Doesn't have to be high. Two. And one. Coming down. Other side. We have a little bit of time. Ready? Other side. Again. And here you go. Lift. One. Two. Keep that chest lifted. Three. Okay. Almost there. Four. One more time. Five. Change legs. Ready, set, go. One. Ah. Two. four, and five. Great job, great job. Okay, we are done with the weights, and I have just a couple minutes left, so let's just work on the hamstrings for a moment, okay? So standing behind your support, whatever that is, you are going to take one leg back, standing tall, chest is lifted, pull the heel up towards the rear, and down slow. Now, you don't need to hold on. We can have the arms out to the side or on your waist. Let's try 10. Ready, set, let's go, everyone. Here's 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Really pulling up that heel. Six. Oops, I said we were going to do five, right? Four. That's okay. Three. Just keep going. Two. And one. Change legs. That's all right, we had time. And 10 we go, lift up 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. We're going on a hamstring. Six, I say six already. <laughs> all right, keep going. Let's just do one more here, one more, and rest. All right, well you can certainly do another round of those if you would like. Let's just stretch out those hamstrings. Holding on to the back of your support. Left foot is out in front of you. Flex toe. Reach down for the toes. Okay, just holding that stretch right there. If you can take it down a little bit lower, great. If not, that's okay too. All right. Coming up nice and slow. Other side. Toes are up. Sit back. And reaching down. Other side. 
side. Good. And down. Clasping the hands behind you and gently pulling the shoulders back. <sighs> Deep breaths. And release. Let's tilt the head to one side. Just getting a nice stretch through the neck area. You can place your hand on your head if you'd like to get a little bit more into that stretch. Chin to the chest and let's get the other side. Here. We did some shoulder work, so I'm just trying to get a little bit more stretch along that area. And back to the center. Nice big inhale, reaching up, exhale down. Again, nice big inhale, reaching up, and exhale down. Wow, thank you so much, everyone. You did a great job. I appreciate you taking the class with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great, great day. I'll see you next week at 9 a.m. on Wednesday for improving your strength and stability. Please be safe. Bye-bye.